Okay, so I spend 60 minutes on the next part, which I call the number one priority work task. I would say no less than 30 minutes on this. Ideally, try and get an hour in. And this is purely business focused. So either around your, your own business or around your own career, if you're working for someone else. And it is what you want to achieve is the starting point of this. So you should always know what, what the two or three things are that you really want to achieve from your business, you know, and from that, you're basically your number one priority work should serve those three elements. So, you know, if it's a certain revenue, if it's a certain employee headcount, if it's, um, you know, scaling to, um, you, you know, diversifying in other industries, whatever it might be, what you want to do every morning is have a number one priority work task that serves achieving those three things. So, for example, um, you know, most, most of us are, are in this for money, you know, to start off with anyway, you know, to, to create that time freedom, to then allow us to have more time with our families, live the balanced lives and, you know, be successful in our own right and be proud of ourselves, you know. So I think that seems to stem through a lot of entrepreneurs and, you know, there is, there's no shame in wanting to be successful, wanting to have plentiful of money so that we never have to worry or stress again so that we can look after our friends and family and wider audiences. You know, I, I have no shame in saying that at all. And I think you need to be driven um, initially by, by money to want to be um, successful. I think there's definitely an element in there. Um, and serving other people, I think, is, is another um, really good trait to have which ultimately drives success, which leads to the money. Um, but, you know, for me, it's more about time, you know, and I think when you get there, yeah, it's about time freedom. You know, mo most of us, if not all of us, will have worked either a slave to the, the, the corporate world or we have been a slave to our own corporate world that we've created in a self-employment role where we're working 60, 70 hours a week and can't take a holiday. So, um, you know, we, we've got to figure out what we want. And then once we know what we want, we then have to find out what whatever tasks serve that. So, um, you know, serving clients, selling, marketing, planning, and executing events, they are, you know, typically priority work for me. You know, they will move the needle. So, you know, my, my the three things I want to achieve, you know, are definitely monetary related. Um, they are legacy related. And, um, and then obviously I have a few um, material things that I want to achieve as well. And just to, you know, live that, you know, not that I'm materialistic at all because I'm far from it, but there's certain things that I just always wanted as a kid. And I feel like once I've achieved them, you know, that is success for me. So, um, you know, those three things I am always striving towards and the, the actions I take to get there are, you know, primarily, you know, for, for that. So, Serving clients, sell and market and plan and execute. I personally believe if you're on one of my business programs, you'll hear me talk about selling and marketing all the time. I think it's the two core fundamentals to any business and nothing else really matters, especially in the infancy of a business. You know, most of the tasks I do on a daily basis in my priority work are around generating revenue and whether that's through marketing or through direct selling. So, you know, we want to be generating revenue because that tends to lead to what most people want to achieve. Um, and then from that, you know, you've ticked off your IBNU work and then you've done your number one priority work and, you know, and, and you just go about your day. If you can do that for like an hour and a half every single morning, just think right now how powerful your business will be, even if you decided to take the rest of the day off, you know, and this is what it has done for me because my, right now my, my calendar goes something along the lines of, um, you know, IBNU work, priority work. Um, I take, I do my reading straight afterwards and then, I, and then I spend time with my kids before they go to school. And then the day's mine after that. You know, if I didn't go, if I didn't do anything else, my business has still moved forward, you know, so I can be, you know, comfortable with the fact that if I, you know, want to go and do X, Y, and Z, if I, you know, it does, it doesn't matter. You know, my business has moved forward and this is how you start to live and work towards that time freedom because you've you've moved your business forward in the focused hour. I know that the two hours I spend on a morning focused work is more than most people will do in a nine to five job. 
the two hours, it is pure focus for 120 minutes. You know, nothing gets in the way. There's no stopping for phone activity, no jumping on social media. You know, I know what I'm going to do before I get there, so I'm prepared. Therefore, there's no time uh, leakage to find documents or find a website or get information that I need to make it happen. That's already done the day before. So I'm just purely executing and I'm focused on what I'm doing. So you can imagine the results that that does produce by just focusing it in the right direction, making sure that I'm not busy. I'm not just, okay, well, I need to do an hour. So I think I'll, um, you know, I'll, you know, I'll maybe design a new business card. You know, does that really move the needle? Does that really get you to where you want to achieve? You know, not really. You know, a lot of people think, you know, they need a fancy website to, to be successful. You know, you don't. So, you know, it's, it's about making sure that the work you're doing is directly relevant to what you want to achieve. And then that work moves the needle forward and ultimately gets you to what you want to achieve. Both in the IBNU work, which is the underlying work, which is, you know, it's important, but it's not urgent. And then in this stuff, which is really like the needle movers, this stuff moves the needle um, pretty much as soon as it's been implemented. So every day you're implementing and you're moving the needle forward. You know, you do that five, seven, how many times a week? And um, you've moved your business forward that week, multiple times, not just once or twice. And for me, uh, I've been doing this now for quite some time and my business growth just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, you know, and the more I commit to this, the better my life becomes in terms of the time freedom. I don't feel guilty on myself if I don't do anything post dropping the kids off. And, um, you know, and the business is still moving forward. And that for me is, um, that for me is success, you know, being able to crunch a couple of hours in and then just let the business um, operate. And then ultimately the business is moving forward. And if, you know, if I don't crunch the, crunch the hours in, obviously the business still moves forward. I'm on like being holiday or whatever it might be, but I'm in a position where I'm at that now. You know, if, if you're in the infancy of your business and it's just you, you know, maybe you're working your business around another job, then as long as you've got this done, it doesn't matter what happens in your other job throughout the day. You know, if your boss asks you to do overtime or if you get tied up in a, a meeting that you didn't really want to be in, but, you know, and you plan to do your priority work then, but then you don't get it done, your business doesn't move forward or your side hustle doesn't move forward, you know, whatever that might be, um, by doing it on a morning, everything gets done. And that's why I feel like my success has been driven from, you know, discovering this morning formula, discovering what works for me on a morning and executing. It's all well and good understanding what works on a morning, but if you don't go ahead and execute, then it's not going to serve you and it's not going to move you forward. You know, if things aren't working for you right now, you need to change something, you know, or you'll just be operating under, you know, the definition of insanity, you know, doing something over and over again and expecting a different result. So for me, that was happening in my life. Um, it wasn't great. It wasn't pretty. I wasn't enjoying it. I was miserable. And, um, you know, I was on the brink of, 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 of bursting at the seams. And then I discovered a formula. I worked on it for several years, tweaking it, finding what worked for me, trying different times, different tasks, et cetera, et cetera. And then I came up with this formula, which has served me now for the last few years, you know, relig religiously committing to it. And the direct impact on my business results and the direct impact on the amount of time freedom I've now got has been exponential. So, you know, all I'm asking, 21 days to create a habit, Give it a go for 21 days solid. I guarantee you'll see the success and you'll want to continue for the next few years, maybe even the next few decades, and your business will be in a lot better place by just crunching in this morning activity and your um, yourself and the way you feel about yourself will be in a much better place um, by having the extra time back for yourselves, the extra time back for your family, you know, the self-care that you can fit in and everything else that we've talked about, you know, they can be quite easily fit around this and the rest of your day, but knowing that you've moved your business forward. So hope it helps. Any questions, as always, just drop them in the group and we'll get them answered for you. Um, but get after it, get it on your schedule and at least give it a try. You know, that's all I'm asking, at least give it a try.